We recently got a new updated version of Order Builder, so we're now on version 1.2.3, and you can download this on the Depot forum uh, under the third-party support thread. So I just wanted to go over a few of the cool new features and changes that have been added. So first off, if we go here and you click on Settings, you're going to see that you now have a probability slider and actually this normally defaults to 50% and 20%. So this is new here. This used to be I think in the generate train tab, but now it's here. And you've got a usual number of cars and it's currently at 50% of max and then you got a variability slider for tw and it's currently at 20%. So what this will do is for example, if it's currently on these settings, if you had an industry where you set the max cars to 10, right now it's usually going to create 50% of that, so you're going to get 5 cars. And then your variability slider is at 20%, so it would mean that you'd probably get between 4 and 6 cars when it generates the train. Now if I were to slide this over to 0, then every time you generate the train, you're going to get five cars because that's half of, of 10, 50% of 10, and your vari variability is at zero. So you're just it's going to be the same thing every time, five cars. And then if I went the other way to 100%, then it's going to be anywhere from, I think, probably zero. I forgot if you might get, you might get one every time or zero and 10. Because you, you know, and then if you go like down to let's say seventy percent, now you might get between like two and eight. Um, and there's a lot more detail on the math behind this if you go into the PDF uh, or Word document that comes with the download. The creator describes a lot more detail if you want to get into it. But this is really cool, a great new feature that allows you to, I think, f more fine tune your train generation every time. Uh, so obviously, like here, you can go up to 80%. So now you're normally going to get a lot you know, closer to the max number you set in there. And again, the variability you can slide. So you really can like get this nice. Or if you want it to be smaller trains every time, you can put it to 20% of the max cars. And um, you know maybe put this up to 40. So you might get between like 1 and... Like if this was a, a 10 car max, you might get between like one car, one or two, maybe maybe two cars and two and three or two and four probably, I'm guessing, just by looking at these numbers. So now let's look at down here. You got, this is the same. You can pick your default region, same as before. And if you're new here, check out my video. I'll put it in the description, a link, uh, one I did a few months ago on the order builder that gets into more detail. And then this is the same here. You got your you check off the DLC packs that you own or don't own. Oh, also another great thing is now the window pops up directly over this window. So before with the old one, if I click manage customers, generate train or settings, the window would pop up, but it would be like way up here. So this is really nice having it just pop right up right in front of you. So now if we go to manage customers, this is all pretty much the same as it used to be, except for one major new thing, which is down here, this edit order. So if I click this, now you can see it. If I unclick or let's see, go here. Oh, now it is still able to be clicked. Hmm. Maybe it's just, so if I go manage customers, see how it's grayed out, these two? But if I click here and then click this one, now they become hittable. But if I switch, maybe that might be still a bug. Because if I switch, they're still there. Let's see if I hit edit order. Um. Oh, okay, maybe not. Because it looks like it's editing. This was two. Two cars. Let's see. If I go, let, let me go to here, this one, six loaded. So if I hit edit, uh, it is six. Okay, so no, I guess it's not a bug then. I think when you just when you first open it, because you haven't clicked any, or I guess since it defaults to eleven boxcar warehousing, maybe it should this should just default to to this first one that pops in. But I mean that's not a big deal. But as soon as you click it, anyways, uh, as soon as you click it, 
now you can edit this order. And this is another one thing that needs to still be fixed because now in here, if you hit edit or add order, it see how it opens way up to the left? That's how the other ones used to be. But those are perfect now. But this one should open like it should just pop up somewhere around here. Uh, but that's probably an easy fix. But what's really cool, so when you hit edit order, now I can go in, and you couldn't do this before. Before, if I wanted to make any change to this 11 uh, car order for 11 boxcar warehousing industry, I would have to go, I would have to delete it or leave it there. I'd probably, usually I'd leave it there first and I'd hit add order. And then I'd have to come in here and put 11 and hit loaded. Like I'd have to kind of look you know, like at this reference, the one before, and then fill everything back in. And then I'd come in and maybe I wanted it to take hoppers. And then I'd have to come in here and click it and stuff. But the great thing about this edit is I can come in here and hit edit. And then now let's say I wanted to make this nine. I could just change it to nine, hit save. And that's it. I don't have to like redo the whole thing. So this is this is a huge, awesome new update. Same here. Like if I got box cars, but maybe I only want it to be sixty foot box cars. I can make this a little bigger. So maybe I only want it to be the sixty footer. So you can see some of these are unchecked because this is based on a depot configuration, depot plus. But like if I wanted to uncheck this and I just wanted sixty, oh, just wanted sixty footers. I could do that and then hit save, and now it would only be using these cars when it generates a train, and then uh, hit save. So that would be, it just makes it so much nicer, so much easier to just come in and if you want to make quick changes to your industry by having this edit order rather than having to redo it. And then also, let's go to advanced drainage. Also, another cool thing is if I go back to the edit, now at the bottom you've get this you got this here override car generation probability. So if I click this, see how these are grayed out? If I click this, now I can fine tune the settings for each not only for each industry but for each order for each industry. That uh detailed. And right now it's got a 1 and a 0, but maybe I want to make it 10. So the usual number of cars Maybe it takes 10. So like up here, I might want to make this max 20. And the usual number I'll set at 10, and I could have the variability at 0, so then I'm always going to get 10. And um, if I go to like 20%, now I might get between like 8 and 12 every time I generate the train. So same as that slider before, but this just gives you the opportunity to override that main slider if I go back here, the one in the settings tab, this one, it gives you the ability to override this one for each uh, industry and each industry order. You can override this tab and then um, you can fine tune it. So you really get a tremendous amount level of detail here when you're configuring your uh, industries in this new version of Order Builder. So that's really nice. And I think that is about it for the new updates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, everything else here is pretty much the same, all the tags and everything. And then if I go to generate train, oh, this is slightly different here, train stats estimator. So here it's telling you there's a 70% chance now that you're going to get something in this range. So like if I go to click the LS917J, this is the local job. Let me make this a little bigger. This is the local job that I did in my last video series. You'll see here, like it's currently at 54 to 226 cars. So that's quite a range and a, and a massive weight and uh, length range too. Um, so I can go back, I can exit and go to settings and I can bring this way down like variability to 10. I can bring this way down to 10, hit save. Now when I go to generate LS917J, you can see it's 33 to 157. So it still could be, that's still a lot of cars, but um, it brought it way down. And I currently have every industry checked as well. So I can uncheck this, or I'd probably check it first and then like uncheck a few of these if I maybe I didn't want uh, every industry to 
be produced on this tr specific train today. So that's it for this quick video. I just wanted to show you some of the new uh, exciting updates of version 1.2.3 of the Order Builder. So remember to check the links in the description for the download to this new Order Builder and to my previous video that gets into more detail on how to build local trains using this wonderful tool. So hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.